Good evening everyone, time for another member update. This is gold, the one hour chart, and it is forming up a beautiful teacup formation. Just to show you there, there's a teacup. That's one of the most bullish formations that I've seen in my experience. Now that does not mean that the powers that be cannot come in and smack the heck out of it but most of the time if the market is left alone I would say about 80 percent of the time this type of formation results to the upside so this may be the time when they let this go you can see that it's uh, challenging some major overhead resistance looks very bullish to me we'll just have to wait and see now I've got the member site uh, forum site up online and working everyone's been added to it if you didn't get added you didn't get an email sending you your username and password I used the usernames that everybody had signed up on the member site the only ones I couldn't do were the ones that were two characters like T here I had to do, I think I did TEE -E for him and other people that had two characters. I added a character, put a dash in between. Those are the only ones that I changed. Everyone else, I just used your exact username and sent you an email. If for some reason you changed your email address or you didn't receive it, just put something in chat here. I've got some refunds for some people that I have to do because of the stupid billing software for this thing that messes up the monthly and stuff like that so please be patient I'm behind on my email so if you have requested a refund I'm getting to it I'm gonna try to have it all processed by tom tonight or tomorrow morning as I get through that I have two email addresses uh, brother John F at Yahoo and, and the Bitcoin channel at Yahoo and they, right now both of them have thousands of unread messages so I apologize for that there's no excuse for that uh, but that's what happened so to get to the forum I've changed it to just a link you just click right there and it will take you to the forum it's still just raw here you can see everybody 154 signed up those I signed up the active users who've logged in at least once on the member site so if you got skipped for some reason just let me know and there's the user questions for brother John F so this is where I'm going to be answering these I'm going to deactivate the one on the public forum that's with silver for the people and I'm gonna answer member questions try to get to them on a regular basis Kevin the admin has posted a request for logo design we've got a little cheesy logo I don't know if we need to widen this out I haven't really played with it the software is very there's a lot of features to it and I really haven't had time to explore it so hopefully it will have more features in the future and more subheadings uh, Kevin tested it for the video I think he put a video of mine on there on a test post and I think he got YouTube working so yeah so you should be able to post YouTube videos Good evening, everyone. and other other things and if there's a problem with pictures or anything like that just let me know and we'll try to get that fixed so hopefully this is a place where people can ask questions or have conversations that are perhaps too lengthy for the chat box or people want to have a record of what they've said and, and they're not there in the chat box so hopefully that adds some value for you and I'm going to be doing another promotion here pretty soon to get more members and maybe make some changes any anybody who's already a member is going to be grandfathered into anything that's already uh, anything that's going to be done in the future so let's get to some issues here I wanted to start with the bankster suicides now there's been a lot of speculation on this issue I'll read the zero hedge article here and then talk a little bit 
more about it. Fourth financial services executive found dead from self-inflicted nail gun wounds. <laughs> That's the ugly rash of financial service executive suicides appears to have spread once again following the jumping deaths of two London bankers and a former Fed economist in the U.S. The Denver Post reports Richard Talley, founder and CEO of American Title, was found dead in his home from self-inflicted wounds from a nail gun. Tally's company was under investigation from insurance regulators via the Denver Post. Richard Tally, 57, and the company he founded in 2001 were under investigation by state insurance regulators at the time of his death. Late Tuesday, an agency spokesman confirmed. It was unclear how long the investigation had been ongoing or its primary focus. A coroner spokeswoman Thursday said Tally was found in his garage by a family member who called authorities. They said Tally died from seven or eight self-inflicted wounds from a nail gun fired into his torso and his head. Also unclear is whether Tally's suicide was related to the investigation by the Colorado Division of Insurance, which regulates title companies. Now, if I were a police investigator, I would probably suspect that someone dying from wounds from a nail gun to their head and their torso probably isn't a suicide. What do you think? <laughs> so in my mind, it's very clear someone is not just bumping off. Of course, the key to it is going to be that they're probably going to be flipping the lower level people and trying to get at the big people. But nobody is going to be committing suicide with a nail gun. That's absolutely crazy. So someone obviously is sending a big message here that if you talk or have the potential to talk, you will be suicided. And it's not so subtle. It's a very clear message. It's clear that he could have taken pills or he could have jumped off a bridge or he could have drowned himself or backed his car into the garage and died of carbon monoxide poisoning. But no, he shot a few nails into his own head and then shot the rest. Did he shoot himself in the head first or... Did he shoot himself in the chest first? So someone is sending a message here. If you turn and flip and testify against the banksters, the big higher-ups, you're going to be suicided. Now, the big question is going to be who is doing the investigating and why aren't they promising immunity or witness protection to these people that are being suicided don't know the answer to that are the are the good guys and the bad guys if there were such a thing are they battling it out don't know are these European regulators as indicated in some of the earlier stories and their witnesses and the people talking to them are being suicided don't know but something is definitely going on there's no question about that and the people up at the top, they make sure that they cannot be touched. So that's about all I have on that. Now, I did want to go to Atmex and just do a brief review here. I'm not going to do a full review. I did the video explaining to you how I pick and choose coins. But I did want to do a review here. After all, if this gold teacup formation breaks out and you can see silver has a nice little teacup formation as well but if this breaks out then it may be the end of these cheap prices and you can see we've had them for a very long time here since December we've had that 20 bucks for silver which is just an unbelievable deal so I wanted to look at Atmex and cover my favorite course it's going to be the lunar series a couple of things to look at here. I've been keeping an eye on the horse 
very closely. I bought some when they first came out. I think we paid 36 bucks, something like that. Here's low to high. You can see the first coin that comes in here is the half ounce horse. There's 60 left. 13.83. That's going to come to about 27.50, 28 bucks an ounce. Quite a bit above spot. But I think when you look at what's happened to some of these other coins, you may want to pick that one up. Here's the half ounce snake, lunar snake, and they're out of that one. You can see the uh, colorized snakes, 27 bucks. Here is my favorite, the half ounce lunar dragon, and holy cow, it's up to 30 bucks a coin. Now we loaded up on those. In fact, one order that we did of those, instead of sending us the snake that we ordered, they actually sent us the dragon. They told me they wanted uh, me to send them a check for 100 bucks or return them. And I called Atmax and said, hey, um, I wasn't the one that made the mistake. You made the mistake. Why don't we meet somewhere in the middle? And they agreed, so I went ahead and sent them another 50 bucks. And I think I ended up getting that last batch of half ounce lunar dragons for around 14 bucks a piece. So here they are for 30 bucks. I don't know what they are at eBay, I haven't checked that, but that's a big jump for those coins. Nothing much more after that. And we, until we get to the 2014 one ounce, and it's all the way up to 50 bucks now. And they have 48 of them left. So stuff is getting thin. Here's the year of the horse. Let's see what's the difference on these two. I don't really see the difference. Uh, someone sees the difference on these, let me know. I don't know what the difference is on these. You can see there's a buy price, though, of 1446 And they got 457 of those. I, I can't for the life of me figure out what the difference is between those two. So let me know if you figure it out. There's the one-ounce dragon, not available. Oh, don't forget the... Oh, I'm sorry. That's what it is. It's two-ounce. So you've got the two ounce here for two bucks more than the one ounce. I was thinking that was a one ounce. Yeah, so I've recommended these in the past. And the two ounce, that is just an incredible deal. The two ounce isn't that much bigger than the one ounce because it's thicker. So it's really not that much bigger. I really think I really like the, the half ounce second after the, the one ounce. But the two ounce is, is a close third. And... At 52 bucks, you're getting that at 26 bucks an ounce. So I'm going to have to favor that two ounce above the half ounce. But let's go see what the two ounce dragon is going for if it's still listed. And maybe that'll give us an idea of whether it's better to go after that half ounce or the two ounce. Uh, I don't see it. We really don't have a lot of product to choose from here. Don't see the two ounce dragon at all. So they just may not be available at all. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Here's a year of the tiger. Here we go. Here's the two ounce dragon. It's out of stock. Here's my one ounce tigers. 99 bucks. Wow. That has really gone up. So I am not disappointed at all. Here's a five ounce year of the horse. That's going to come to 133 divided by five, whatever that is. 25 bucks, 26 bucks. Pretty good price. So I'm going to favorite the two ounce horse right now at, at 52 bucks. But wow, I can't say enough about this Lunar Series. I'm very glad I picked up those half ounce dragons. I think that the Chinese are really going to want those. I think as Jimmy Rogers said, 
China is going to be the the growth story for the next century, and they're not going to let you get in on it. You're not going to be able to get rich off of it directly. But if you find something the Chinese want to buy and sell it to them, you'll become very rich. So I think the Chinese are going to want to buy silver, and I think especially they're going to want to buy Perth silver, and I think even more so they're going to want to buy Lunar Series Perth silver that has a Chinese theme. I just can't think of a better investment silver-wise. And you can still get it dirt cheap. I think that... 2014 I listened to turd Ferguson the other day and he's thinking maybe 26 bucks this year if things heat up it could be through 26 bucks in a heartbeat so we'll just have to wait and see jump onto the new member forum let me know what you think if you have any suggestions and uh, any questions go ahead and put them there and we'll talk to you next time